Just a quick reminder guys, this channel update is best enjoyed with headphones on. With all of this aside, please enjoy the video. Welcome to the 1982 Federal Disabling Reviews here. Coming in here with a channel update, giving you guys the inside scoop on what's going on in the channel on the next couple of months. So, my epilepsy situation is completely stable, so there's not much point in me giving you an in depth health update. So, let's kick things off with an update on what's going on in the review side of the channel. Well, in terms of the review side of the channel, due to personal reasons, the official takeover of our dedicated retro gaming series Retro OS has been extended till summer 2024. Now here's the reasons why, since about February time, there has been a thought that's been dominating my head. This year will hold a very significant event, and the 10th of August 2024 will mark exactly 20 years since my fall in 2004. Hence the reason why I have decided to extend this retro gaming takeover. By the way guys, fair warning, I probably will not shut up about this until the date itself. So, I would like to apologize uh, in advance for any sanities that will probably will be broken. Uh, 2024 will see a lot of remastered and remade versions of all-time classics. For example, later on in 2024, we have got Age Mythology Retold. A remake of the 2002 classic RTS. Obviously, there will be reviews of modern day games which has taken the inspiration of retro classics. Examples of these modern day games would be Rollham, Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, and Ballistic NG. Now, I have decided to run an event that will be running throughout the retro gaming takeover itself. It's called My Gaming Memory. This is a giant gaming time capsule. Now everyone in this community is allowed to participate in this. I now I already have a interviewed a select few of the DGR community who I know personally, sharing with me some of their fondest gaming memories to participate in this. Some of comment and some of your fondest memories playing video games as a child. And your memory might get featured in episodes during this takeover. Now, if the submission is in written form, I will read them out, and of course, I'll give you a shout out should your memory be picked, and of course, as I'm reading them. So, and you may share one, two, or three to increase your chances of being picked. Now, before we start, let's go over the ground rules. Rule number one they have to be a retro game. For reference, the DGR definition of a retro game is a game that's released from the PlayStation 2 era and back. For all you PC gamers out there, you have to pick a game that was released before 2005. That is the release year of the Xbox 360. Rule number two, one entry per franchise per person. For example, you cannot choose the time you beat the original Metal Gear and then using the time where you have to wait two weeks to skip the sniper battle in Snake Eater. But two memories of the same game are compliant with this rule. And the final rule, keep the language and memories clean. As obviously, I'm going to have to read them and editing them onto YouTube. So to start, here are three of my favourite gaming memories that I have chosen. So one of my favourite gaming memories was in June 2004. So it was the last day of school before we broke for the summer holiday. So there was no classes running on that day. So we spent all day in the computing labs playing the Epic Games' 1999 game Unreal Tournament. I was the M. Grim Reaper, that was my name in the game. My friend, Open Ra Andrew Open Ra Carpenter, played as the punk. So we played non-stop in the Capture the Flag, Capture the Flag map, Lava Giant. And one of my fellow schoolmates on the opposing team, um, who had the player alias Shieldy. So as the map went on, the, he quickly became the Sylvester to our Tweety Pie, the Wily Coyote to our Roadrunner, and the Jerry to our Tom. Another game ring that I had was back in 1998 when my brother installed the playable demo of the Age of Empires expansion Rise of Rome. That was my very first exposure of a PC RTS 
of all that I used to play Command & Conquer Red Alert and the original Command & Conquer for the original PlayStation, that was the very first game I ever loved. I, I remember the um, surreal experience of leading a nation, gathering resources and taking down Rome as the, as the Carthaginians and the Battle of Octavian. And even today, you can replay that scenario with the Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, the Rise of Rome DLC. The last gaming memory that I'm going to share with you is back in 2002, when I discovered Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube. And that was the game that really drew me into the Sonic fandom. Even today, I still am a Sonic diehard because of the experience that I, that I had playing Sonic Adventure Director's Cut for the GameCube, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube, and Sonic Heroes, surprise, surprise, for the Nintendo GameCube. Believe it or not, that copy of Sonic Heroes for the GameCube was actually the first item I ordered from Amazon. With all of this nostalgia aside, let's switch over to what's going on and the Let's Play side of the channel. Well, in terms of the Let's Play side of the channel, we have excellent news. The Let's Play project in the original Half-Life has officially drawn to a conclusion. The final two parts will be uploaded to the channel over this weekend. So the original plan was to go straight to Half-Life 2 Episode 2. However, we have decided to slightly alter those plans. We have decided to temporarily change game for the moment. I, and now it is my will be my profound pleasure to introduce our next project for DTR Plays. So without further ado, let's roll the trailer. Flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Jadula, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! Before we get to the nitty gritty of this Let's Play project, allow us to explain the reasons why we decided to make this change. The difficult decision was made around three weeks prior to this video being uploaded. I can now reveal to you that the person who requested me to do Max Payne in the first place was my best friend, Andrew Open Ra Carpenter. Now we met each other since the first day of primary school. Also during my hospital say he was nothing more than a pillar of support. He was also the person who inspired me to bring back Let's Plays on this channel. I mean, we're talking about the guy who invited me to his wedding back in August 2023. So when I asked him on which game he wants me to start with, Max Payne was his first choice. Unfortunately, due to compatibility issues with the screen recording software clashing with the API that Max Payne uses, is, which is DirectX 8, which made the project of Level Let's Play of Max Payne outright undoable. However, in the autumn of last year, I stumbled across a fix pack which completely negates all these problems. And the rest, as they say, is history. Now, with all this aside, let's get into the details on how this Let's Play is going to work. And sure, this Let's Play is going to be like New York Minute difficulty on steroids. Now, from now until the final week of May for me to finish this game. Guys, seriously, me and my next door neighbour, Gil, my friend dear Murray, had a bet. If this 2001 Matrix-inspired classic third-person shooter is not completed by that date, I have to review a tennis game of his choice on the opening day of the Wimbledon Tennis Championships over here in London. So this will not be a 101% run. So apart from that, same protocol as usual. 45 minutes for each episode. But the time will be paused when a graphic novel sequence is playing. 
as I've said in my previous update back in December, this particular game is featured in the first episode of Millet Mike's Creepy Gaming, so the tone of the game will get dark as soon as the game starts. One final thing to note, this game does contain flashing lights as Max takes painkillers to recover his health during a level, so therefore I must employ you to enjoy this let's play through in a well lit environment. A well lit environment is probably the best way to reduce the risk of getting epileptic seizures when playing video games in general. Okie dokie folks and that's everything I want to cover in this channel update. So it's best for me to sign off. This is Sparta Commander Nathan Nature Chief Editor of Disabled Gamer Review signing off and I'll see you on Sunday for the very first episode of TGR Plays. Max Payne, I'll see you then.